Welcome back to MansionPunter.com. Poker Dome Challenge. Well, just a few weeks ago, Andrew Rogers of Montgomery, Minnesota, picking up 50000 after he'd already won 25000 And the sigh of relief because he is the first to gain entry to our championship million-dollar table. Well, who's going to take the rest of those seats? We'll find out as we continue with the second of our six qualifying rounds. And Andrew Rogers back in Las Vegas for support. Nafisa. Thank you, Joel. Andrew, it's nice to see you back in Las Vegas again. You're here supporting Neil Jones. How do you two know each other? Well, he plays in the, the tournaments that I run back in Minnesota. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's a good player. Mm -hmm. How do you think he's doing tonight? Uh, it's been up and down. He's had me on the edge of my seat a couple of times. <laughs> so you and, well. you and me both and everyone in the audience as well. Joel? You All right, Nafisa. Well, it's been up and down. He's right. Uh, tilt a whirl or roller coaster, call it what you like. And a smile on his face now. The constant, though, the toothpick. It never wavers for Neil Jones. He was down to the second shortest stack on the board, but back-to-back -back wins, 50,000 chips he picked up, and he's right in the th thick of things. There's Andre Russo on top with 70,000, but not by much over Jennifer Leo. Neil Jones is going to try to turn that toothpick into a lumber yard, figuratively speaking. He's going to have to run up that short stack into a big old pile. Got to get some cards. Jeez. Not there for a hot. Four folds. <laughs> Doc again four. with an ace under. Five folds. Thanks, Andrew. Hi, guys. <laughs> that was Andrew's hand? Fifteen. Fifteen thousand. Three folds. Showing his cards again. You're always such a gentleman, Daniel. <laughs> Blind, three folds. You guys all know the song? Everybody holds the big blind. Everybody knows the song. Everybody holds the big blind. Everybody holds the big blind. Everybody holds the big blind. Or the big blind goes all in. Oh, I like that song. I don't know if Han's going to be singing. If he goes in against Leo, or make it Doc this time. Small blind gets out of the way. See three falls. Oh, oh, oh Hans yeah. all in. Now the reason that's a strong move, Joel, is because his he doesn't know this, but Doc, his opponent, while he has the best hand, it's a troublesome hand. That six kicker can't look very good. And Doc has asked for more time. He'll use his 130 second time extension. Han is not quite all in, but most of his chips have been committed with a pot limit raise. This is a big decision for Daniel Doc, and he's going to fold the best hand. What a song. What a song. What a, what a move. A bold one at that. Ralph Hahn. Almost twice the age of Daniel Doc. I'm going to sing the song. The blinds are up now. Now it gets very serious at 5,000 and 10,000. That 10,000 represents 20% of Jen Leo's stack, and she has a pair of queens. What a time to pick up a big hand. How does 35,000? I'll make it 18. Raise the 20. Bet 18. Raise the 20,000. Raise the 20,000. Okay, I'll do that. Minimum raise. So she makes the minimum raise. See four folds. Same as soon. She's almost yeah, begging for a call. <laughs> I can't go all in. Right. It won't work. Now that's a rarity. We have not seen Russo turn over his guards. He's gone though with the 8 5. So an uncontested one for Jen Leo. <laughs> Ralph on with that last win. Currently the chip leader by a small margin. Joel, kicking up the blinds uncontested earns you 5% of the chips on the table. There's 300,000 chips total here. 15,000 in the pot before the cards are dealt. Be dangerous here for Russo. And man, getting a walk when you're in the big blind, when you've already committed 10,000, that is a big gift. That's like 
Christmas in Las Vegas in the summertime. And that doesn't happen very often. Especially when it's better than honored on the sidewalk. On the ace on the board, folds. Han was in early position. Didn't want to get involved with the weak kicker. Congratulations. And look at this. The players have suddenly put it into deep freeze, pushing the blinds around to each other. Two walks in a row. So as loose as they were, and as much as they were trying to get involved early, it's the opposite now. The player that's going to be able to change gears is going to have a lot of success at this point in the tournament. And Jones has been dealt a very big hand, but again, I don't see anybody really Apple. having much to play with. See five folds. Uh, and that 35,000 chip raise 35, will not be called by either Five. Doc or Leo, and Three Jones folds. will pick up another 15,000. He has gone from the short stack to second place in chips. Only one little chip behind Ralph Hahn. Yes, cards over here. Yeah, this card. So we have not seen many hands lately. Uncontested. But that could change. Especially between Jones and Ralph Hahn. Now Ralph Hahn's in the big blind. He's already has 10,000 there. He asked for time. Needs to think about this. thousand more to call. Father of two, Neil Jones, hoping he sticks around. Suited today's king. Good fold. But he will not get any play out of a great hand. So the tables have completely turned. Neil Jones looking very strong down the stretch as we continue from Las Vegas.